Hi, I'm Allison Tupperware. An electric motor is a device that turns electrical energy into mechanical energy. The basic design for the electric motor was invented over 200 years ago. Although electric motors have thousands of applications, they all work based on the same concept, electromagnetism. The basic principle of electromagnetism states that when you run an electric current through a wire, a magnetic field is generated. So when you run electricity through a wire, the wire itself becomes an electromagnet. An electric motor has a stationary part called a stator and a rotating part called a rotor. The stator generates a magnetic field and the rotor is an electromagnet that rotates inside this field. Because opposite poles of a magnet attract and like poles repel, the magnetic south pole of the rotor will move toward the magnetic north pole of the stator. By repeatedly switching the direction of the current in the rotor's electromagnet, the poles keep flipping sides and this rotational motion continues. The output shaft of the motor is attached to the rotor and the rotational motion drives the device attached to the motor. And so ends the sexiest description of electromagnetic theory in the history of the world. While the basic principles of drives and motors are the same, the vast number of applications presents engineers with lots of different design challenges. At companies like Bueller Motors, Heinzmann and Wag in Germany, engineers and designers use software modeling tools like PTC's Creo Direct Modeling Solutions to design electric motors and drives for a wide variety of consumer products and industrial applications. WEG designs motors with specific dimensions designed for a circular saws, motors designed so they won't corrode in high humidity environments, like cooling towers, and even poultry fan motors with totally enclosed designs so they can be used in agricultural environments without getting clogged with airborne debris. The Heinzmann Company manufactures a range of drives for fuel injection systems and control systems on diesel electric locomotives. For over 100 years, electric motors have been used to power trains, subways, cable cars, and electric buses. Power is transferred to some electric trains and road vehicles by overhead cables. Some electric trains and most subway systems are powered by an electrified third rail. In the U.S., certain rail corridors in the Northeast have been electrified. In Europe and in Japan, most of the high-speed trains, like France's TGV and Japan's Shinkansen, run on electric motors. Maybe next week I'll talk about more exciting engineering theory, like eddy currents. You're welcome.